Bobi Wine welcomes U.S. sanctions against Ugandan officials over rights violations. Hello everyone, welcome to Progen Media. I'm Shalom. Kindly consider subscribing and turning on to our notification button for more of these updates. The president of the National Unit Platform, Robert Chagulan Elias Bobi Wine, has said he is happy with the U.S. government's visa restrictions against some Ugandan officials over human rights violations. The U.S. government on Friday through its Secretary of State, Anthony John Blinken, announced sanctions against some Ugandan officials over human rights violations orchestrated during and after the 2021 general elections. However, in response to the same, Chagwan said that, appreciates that he appreciates the U.S. government for reigning in on Ugandan officials who interfered with the recent elections, the statement by the United States is an important recognition that the recent elections were not free and fair. It sends an equivocal message that although General M7 boasts of controlling all Ugandan institutions that would call him to count, the world is watching is the world is watching and is beginning to act, Chagulani said. The US government secretary of state Anthon John Blinken said there has been an increased downward trajectory for the country's democratic presidentials, adding that this was experienced in the 2021 polls. According to the runner-up in the January 14th polls, despite these human rights violations, government has turned a blind eye to them, adding that the U.S. government sanctions have come at the right point. The people of Uganda value their relationships with the global community and appreciate the concern shown by the United States on deteriorating situation regarding human rights and civil liberties. It is our hope that other nations of the world will follow suit and support the people of Uganda in our quest for freedom and democracy, Chagulan said in a statement. On Friday, the State Minister of Foreign Affairs, Henry Okello Oriam, said, the government is not moved by the sanctions. It is unfortunate that the U.S. is punishing individuals in Uganda wrongly without having real proof beyond doubt that they are the causes of those allegations. Those allegations were responded to by the government of Uganda and we expect the U.S. government and others to have respected our response. Oriam said, but their decisions are based on newspaper reportings and pressure from individuals pressure groups, and lobbyists, which is very unfortunate. We are not moved, shaken, but remain focused on fulfilling the mandate given to us by the people of Uganda. We will continue executing our manifesto accordingly without losing sleep over the matter. Well, that is it for now. Kindly don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.